So what I'll do is I'll build the layers up like one after another over a course of weeks and then just torch the entire painting. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, and just let kind of time erode, if you will. Since I was a kid, I never drew in the lines because you told me I had to. This is a very important place for me. I walk in here and it's like I lose all sense of time. Time's a trippy concept. As much as we think that we have control over things, we don't. Most people will spread themselves too thin and give their time away. We realize our time is limited on this planet, so we want to spend it doing what it is that we enjoy with the people that we enjoy. That was a conversation I, I recently had with an art dealer. I was like, guess what? From now on, I do not put a timeline on commissions. I usually give like an extra like month of wiggle room, but no more. I'm not looking to create anything so that I can please the masses. I'm looking to do something, get it out of me, put it out into the universe, and then hopefully one day somebody will come across it and just stop them in their tracks and it does something for them. You have the artist and the work. And the second the artist cares about anyone viewing the work, that's when the artist lost his connection to the work. I don't need to be fit within a certain brand. No one's gonna see my work and be like, oh, that's a Jeremy Penn right off the bat. I don't really care what people think, but at the same time, challenge yourself with the work, a sense of placement and time. So, Having a mirror where people people can see themselves within the work, it sets that moment. I, I remember I did a couple things for charity where I was painting live. And it started to rain. It was outside. It was in the Hamptons. And I was like, oh my god, we got to do something. we got to cover the... Everyone's freaking out, scrambling. I'm like, yeah, you're not touching it. I'm not moving. It's like if the rain is falling and the paint is dripping, this is a moment in time. If you look at Picasso, and you look at all of his paintings, it's like a timeline. You can know exactly where he was in his life. I take whatever's happening in my present moment and put it into my work. I have a really difficult time looking back at work. I like it when I'm looking back at it and I can see where I was at the time, but I find myself seeing flaws. I don't know how things are gonna end up. That's part of the process. I like, for every nice painting you see, there are maybe 30 paintings that are, are shit. But that one, there's a painting here. I just found it on my floor. Like, you know what? This will look pretty dope if I just like light it on fire right now. I don't know what's gonna happen. It may completely look like shit after. It may look great. But this to me is rewarding. This is freeing. And whenever it decides to go out, it goes out. 